If you think it's cool that we as people control the AI by entering a cool prompt into ChatGPT, you know what's really cool when AI controls people, when the AI controls what we do. And that's part of today's video because today I'm gonna to actually show you a tutorial where you can use AI to create a referral campaign. And what that means is that a campaign that lives inside your business that thanks to AI will incentivize people, will influence people to promote your business, to actually get more people into your business without you actually having to do the hard work. So it's still people doing the hard work, not you. It's your people around you that come to your website that will then say like, hey, cool, I wanna invite my friends, but it's ChatGPT or AI that helps influences those people to do that. Sure, it sounds a bit fuzzy wuzzy wuzzy, but I'm gonna make it very practical. I'm gonna jump on my screen right here because the first thing you're gonna need if you wanna do this, if you actually wanna incentivize people to invite their friends into your business, you cannot just say like, hey, please invite your friends and we'll be cool. What you actually need to do, one of the first and most important things is every single lead that comes into your business, you need to give them their own unique invite link. They actually learned this back in the day from Dropbox because what they did was genius, right? They didn't just ask people like, hey, please share, but also they gave a unique invite link and they said like, hey, if you invite your friends using this unique invite link, we'll keep track of who, who signs up to your link, all that. But every single time when that actually happens, you will actually get more storage inside your Dropbox account. It's a cloud-based storage, just like Google Drive and whatnot, right? In other words, you would get something of value if and only if your friends would actually sign up. And I remember one of my friends reaching out to me, I was into photography at the time, saying, hey, Wilco, you need to sign up to this because yeah, this is great for backing up all your photos. Right? So, oh yeah, cool, I'll, I'll sign up, right? I bet that for most of you, if you think back of like, how do you actually know Dropbox? Box. For those who've been around for a while, I bet that the answer is from a friend because that is really what put them on the map. And it was all thanks to that unique invite link. So that's the first thing you're gonna need. You need to be able to create those unique invite links automatically at scale, but not only that, also make sure you know, whoever signs up then automatically is being tracked or referred to, being sent out an incentive. Like if you have an incentive that they would get, for example, they refer three friends or maybe they can win something, like all that has to be done and automated, right? So that's why I highly recommend, like, yes, it's my company, but I highly recommend to use a viral. You can Google other platforms as well, but it's is known as the number one platform in the market. And the good thing about a viral is that it takes care of pretty much everything. And I'm gonna say pretty much all except for one thing because you or AI still has to come up with the actual campaign. It still has to think of like, what do you give as an incentive, right? Like, yes, this is all the moving parts of like emails to send out to motivate people, it keeps track of who refers who, like analytics, all of that. But it, like, it doesn't actually tell you like, hey, here's exactly what you need to do. It doesn't tell you like, hey, here's what you need to put on the page. Like, it doesn't do that, but that's what what you can use ChatGPT for and I actually learned that it's really, really powerful. And that's what I'm gonna show you right here. So let's say I would wanna create an viral campaign and I would just, you know, pick any of the, the templates that are already in there. You can also create custom. But let's say I wanna go for like a certain template to make it easy. So let's say I do that. And one of the first things, like I need to come up with like maybe a giveaway grand prize in case there's a sweepstake or maybe uh, like what kind of rewards to give away. And that is exactly where ChatGPT comes in, right? So let's say I'm gonna give it some instructions. So for example, I'm gonna say act as a marketing expert. You know everything there is to know about marketing and persuasion or maybe about copywriting and human persuasion or maybe psychology. And just to set the stage so that it's gonna be act as if it actually know something about that. You will help me create a, let's say we're gonna do a sweepstake for my business. My business, let's say, what are we doing for a kind of business? My business is an e-commerce shop. Let's say my business is an e-commerce shop selling personalized jewelry, for example, right? My audience are mainly, or women that will be between the age of, let's say 25 and no, oh, maybe like 35 and I don't know, 50, whatever. I'm just making this up as an example, right? The goal of the sweepstake is to get more leads into my business, to incentivize the, those leads to refer their friends into the sweepstake as well, right? And what I'm doing here is just setting the stage, trying to give it as much input as possible because usually the better the input, the better the output is gonna be as well. Just imagine ChatGPT being your, your marketing agency and you're asking them. You couldn't just say like, hey, give me more leads. Like you need to actually tell them something about your business, who are targeting the target, what are your goals, etc. right? So I'm just just as an example, putting some information here. And then let's say I'm like, all right, like I wanna create this viral referral campaign using a platform like a viral, like that's a proven method, like it's already been collecting over 64 million leads for, for its clients, uh, but now I just need to come up with the campaign. So how do I do that? Let's say, for example, I wanna know what can I give away as a 
price. Let's say what I do a contest, what would be a good price? So can you give me 10 ideas for of what I could give away as a price in the contest? All right, so it actually gave me 10 ideas. Let's review them. A personalized jewelry makeover, a year of personalized jewelry, uh, celebrity inspired jewelry set, oh, that could work as well. Exclusive jewelry design experience, personalized um, family heirloom. I don't even know what that is. Ultimate girls night in. Cool, some really cool ideas actually. So that's cool. They even went outside of the original question and saying like, hey, refer a friend bonus prize. So I actually came up with it like, hey, you could actually do a bonus prize as well, which you can also do using a viral to incentivize referrals by offering an exclusive limited edition personalized jewelry for participants who refer a certain number of friends to the sweepstakes. So this is actually a great idea. It's actually something that works really, really well. Uh, so I highly recommend that. So that means what we can do is we enter a grand prize, right, of like, Let's say this is just a template um, for what I just created. So therefore we can just replace it. So let's say in this case, I'm gonna go for the a year of personalized jewelry, right? Let's say I'm gonna go for that, right? Um, I'm just gonna copy paste that in. Oops, one person is gonna actually win that, right? How many winners are gonna win that one? Uh, which is gonna be at random, which means that the more friends you invite, the higher chance you have, but it's still in that sense random, but you have a higher chance of winning. Uh, but then on top of that, I actually think, let's say the, and we were gonna pick the winner uh, that date, or like, let's say, I'm gonna pick the winner at that point. And let's say we're also gonna go with this idea, uh, number 10, to actually say like, hey, after, for example, you get um, five friends, right? You will also get this, you know, some kind of a customized uh, necklace as well, or like a customized um, jewelry. So I'm just gonna copy paste that and maybe change that and instead of jewelry piece jewelry or maybe jewelry just jewelry like that boom cool I'll remove this other one from the template so now we got the basic setup but also I need to let ChatGPT know that that's what I'm actually doing on the list right so we can also connect the dots Next, what I would need to do is actually I would need to create, like I can get people share, I'm gonna skip that, there's nothing to do for ChatGPT to do, right? I'm just going to say, let's say I wanna create this page, right? I wanna write an opt-in page where people can actually register. So then I'm just gonna ask that. No idea what it's gonna come up with. Maybe I should have asked multiple examples, in this case I just went with one, so let's see what it does. Cool, that's pretty, pretty good already, uh, give me, five more headlines just for comparison I'm just gonna go with the main one actually I'm just gonna copy that go into a viral paste that in make it slightly smaller and maybe also a sub headline write me uh, five different sub headlines that would go below the headline so although we did a good job in trying to write some sub headlines i would actually like them to be slightly shorter and also more like i have a call to action to give people instructions on what to do next so i'm going to say the sub headlines should give a should give clear instructions on what they should do next, which is to enter their email address. Can you write five more sub headlines, make them short and clear? Let's see what it would come up with. All right, there you go. So in this case, I'm just gonna copy the first one, enter email and secure a chance at custom jewelry plus, plus exclusive bonuses, right? So just gonna paste that in. And then uh, I'll just say, I'm, I'll use option one. What should go on the button? Boom. Join the sweepstake and claim your prizes. 
I would probably make that shorter though. Uh, sweepstake, not sweepstakes. And claim your prizes. Yeah, cool. Why not? Right? And obviously, I need to like change the image. That's not what ChatGPT is good at. Uh, add your logo here, but you get the point, right? Now, next, I would have to create the share page where you actually incentivize people to take action, to actually incentivize people to refer their friends. So, again, going back to ChatGPT, I'm going to explain that uh, once. So I just inform ChatGPT that participants will see a page after where they're actually incentivized to refer their friends. And the more friends they invite, the higher chance of winning the prize. I write five headlines for this page to see what it actually would come up with. And again, I'm just going to go for option number one. Paste that in and you can just keep on going for all those sections, right? Now, one thing that's actually really powerful as well is besides what's on those pages is to have proper follow-up emails. Like the emails that will be sent out as soon as someone registers, like in a reminder, like even when they check their phone later in the evening, it's like, oh yeah, I can invite my friends. Or for example, when one of their friends does sign up, that they get a reminder like, oh, awesome, well done. Um, let's actually keep on sharing because the more friends you sign up or like you are almost at your, you know, you almost unlocked your reward. So keep on sharing so that you actually win the prize, you unlock the reward. And therefore, when people that do share, they tend to share multiple times because they really want to get their, their gift, right? So the emails can be sent out again, easily using a viral. But again, we're going to ask ChatGPT to write an email. So I just said right after participant enters a sweepstake, they'll receive an email which explains what they just signed up for and incentivize them to share their unique invite link, maybe with their friends. Uh, write this email in a playful conversational style, whatever you prefer, obviously. But hey, let's say that is what I would want to have out of it. So cool, I just wrote the full email, a uh, pretty decent one as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste that into a viral. So first of all, the title. This is where we're going to send out the email that uh, is being sent out right after they register. I'm going to change it right there. Um, and then I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. I'm going to copy the full email, right? Boom, there we go. Obviously, a couple of things you need to replace. This should actually be the actual person's first name. So we're just going to say name of participant. A viral automatically change that. To them, to them, to them. Here's how it works. Very good. Your unique invite link. Boom. Let's replace that with their actual unique invite link. You can even, with a var, you can even add buttons as well. So for example, share on uh, Facebook or share on Twitter. What it will actually show in their email will actually show a little button, share on Facebook, share on Twitter. If they click that, it will go straight to um, Facebook or Twitter or wherever you want it to go, uh, sharing their unique invite link, making it even easier to share. Um, Cool, and then obviously change the name and email. So there you have it. That's essentially the process of like using ChatGPT to create a referral campaign. Now, if you want to know more about you know how to actually optimize your referral campaign for success, or want to see some case studies, then down below in the footnotes, in the show notes, I actually put some links to all the videos I've done where I went way more in depth into actually making sure your referral campaign is set up to succeed in your business. Right. So with that, uh, looking forward to you know check out that you check out those videos as well. If you like this video or any of the other ones, click like. I would really appreciate that. Or leave a comment to let me know what you enjoyed the most. And with that, I will catch you soon. All right, cut. We're done here. Let's wrap it up. Oh, well, sorry. Uh, you're still there. Well, uh, in that case, thanks for watching. And make sure to subscribe to my channel where I share marketing tips, tricks, and strategies that will help you grow your business faster. So you can click on the subscribe button right now or check out the next video. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.